we'll begin praise the lord good morning my dear sisters and brothers and dear families the lord is risen hallelujah hallelujah and with that joy we've come again into the presence of our lord worshiping him adoring him and glorifying him and asking the lord for that grace that the joy of the resurrection of the lord stay within us eternally and let that hope the lord has brought over death life that he has brought over death let it stay within abund within us abundantly and unending let's kneel down before the lord and we welcome the lord singing together o sacrament most holy o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine o praise and o thanksgiving be just imagine the abounding joy of the apostles and those who were chosen to see the risen lord can you imagine the spiritual gladness that they have the happiness that they have in their heart to welcome the risen lord my dear brother my dear sister you are looking at the lord in this blessed sacrament the same lord jesus who rose again from the dead 
whose resurrection we celebrated and we are still celebrating to your hearts as well feel that abounding joy in your heart. do you feel that spiritual gladness is your heart not excited to see the risen lord in this blessed sacrament our lord is here with us lord who rose again from the dead who conquered death we worship our risen lord we open our heart to the lord that he will fill us with his joy Jesus told his disciples there is no greater love than giving one's life for his friends and with resurrection Jesus added to it I died for you for you are so close to me you belong to me and you are mine Now I have risen from the dead and death has no claim on any of you for you belong to me the risen lord my dear brother my dear sister do you not feel within your heart that you belong to the lord who is risen from the dead death and sin has no claim over us because we belong to the lord jesus showed his love for us not just dying for us on the cross but also rising from the dead and being with us his resurrection also is a great expression of his love for us to be with us to fill us with his glory to guide us in his glory to help us to reach the same glory in heaven thank you lord for loving us We worship you Lord. We adore you Lord. We glorify you Lord. Jesus promised us I'll be with you till the end of ages. And in the risen Lord that promise being completed. The Lord died did not end there. He rose again to be with us. So faithful God we have. So loving God we have. Remember what in the book of Revelation we read. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Even death could not put an end to his faithfulness. He rose again. He rose again to fulfill the promises that he gave us. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning, O oh Lord. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens your faithfulness it reaches to the clouds your righteousness is like majestic mountains 
and your wisdom like the depths of the sea and you come to me your steadfast love extends to the heavens your faithfulness reaches to the clouds your majestic mountains and your wisdom like the depths of the sea and you come to me filling my heart with your loving kindness I find my peace in the shadow your ways I eat my fill from the abundance of your household and I drink from the stream of rejoicing you are my king and this all the reason Lord when they experienced more and more of Jesus' love, they could realize His love on the cross. But death could not stop that love forever. It continued in resurrection and it even continues now with us. Let's open our heart to the Lord this morning. For His ever new love, to be experienced, to be filled in our heart. The Lord said, I'm doing something new. Through the resurrection of Jesus, He brought that newness to the life of those who belonged to Him. The newness of life. A life eternal. A life glorified, a life unending, a life to which death cannot put an end, a life where there is no fear, a life that overflows with the love of Jesus. Jesus told us, love as I have loved you. Love others. Love one another. As I have loved you. Jesus. As we look at you in this blessed sacrament. And we see you glorious. We see you risen. We see your glory shining upon us. And your love filling our hearts we pray. Give us a grace to share your steadfast love. Share your mercy with everyone around us. My dear brother, my dear sister, offer your family unto the Lord. Each one. And we pray, Lord, for my risen Lord, let your love, your peace and your joy, your hope reign our family. Let it rain the hearts of my family members. Let them experience your love, your glorious love, O oh Lord, and we pray your steadfast love. It reaches to the clouds Your righteousness is like majestic mountains it's beyond our comprehension And your wisdom like the depths of the sea And you come to me Steadfast love Your steadfast 
steadfast love Lord let me share that love to the heaven with my family members your faithful thank you Lord it reaches to the clouds your righteousness is like majestic Praise mountains you, Lord. You, Lord and your wisdom like the depths of the sea and you come to me as the Lord is right now the Lord is with us he is holding our hands, He is embracing us, experience His love at this moment, His steadfast love. His steadfast love beyond our comprehension. Nobody would think that He would rise again to continue to love everyone who belonged to Him, whom He has chosen. Beyond the comprehension of human brain. It is reaching the clouds, it cannot count. You cannot account for it. For it is an experience that the Lord gives to each one differently. But you experience the love of the Lord. Let's thank the Lord from our heart. Worship you, Jesus. Adore you, Jesus. We adore you. Glorify you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. The Lord is touching many hearts at this time. As you look at the Lord in this blessed sacrament, if it is possible and safe for you to touch Jesus on your screen, just touch the screen, the blessed sacrament on your screen and worship Him. Adore Him and glorify Him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord, praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Salome. The Lord is touching you. Salome, the Lord is touching you. Everything that makes you cry, offer it into the hand of the Lord. The Lord promised your sorrow will turn to be joy. The Lord is turning your sorrows to joy. is calling you all by your name something that the Lord would like to give you the blessing the Lord is showering upon you receive it let our hearts worship the Lord unceasingly that's what the disciples did after seeing the risen Lord they worshipped him let us worship our Lord. This blessed sacrament, let our hearts not stop worshipping. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praising the Lord and worshipping the Lord opens a channel for us to receive more and more blessings and graces from our Lord. Unceasingly worship him with our heart. Someone having a heart problem, something related to your valve system in the in the heart, a valve in the heart. The Lord is touching and healing you. A person suffering with a urinary problem. 
the lord is touching and healing you when you pass urine you have pain that is so hard for you to bear the lord is touching and healing you child suffering with bed wetting the lord is touching you thank you jesus praise you lord we worship you lord we adore you lord we glorify you jesus we adore you jesus hallelujah 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 someone suffering with rashes all over your body a skin disease the lord is touching and healing you someone suffering with pollen allergy the lord is touching and healing this day in a very special way we pray for all the unemployed all those who are seeking a job and trust your situation into the hand of the lord the trauma that you are going through the stress and pressure that you are taking offer it into the hand of the lord and we ask the intercession of our blessed mother she is always with us she intercedes for us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen kindly be seated testimonies of lords mercy upon the lives of our brethren patricia kong from kuching i attended the retreat conducted in kuching malaysia i had been previously suffering from several bodily pains for the last 2 years which healed during the adoration some of the pains that have been completely healed include my left knee which was suffering from limping and my right ring finger which was suffering from arthritis which has been completely healed my back pain has been my back pain has been feeling a lot better recently as well after the adoration thank you jesus for your healing touch hallelujah 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 christine goodall from sydney I would like to praise and thank Jesus for the healing I received even without asking. I have been following all the retreats from June 2023 and always pray for my children and for all those who have asked for prayer. I was finding it very difficult to walk especially when I sit and get up. My thigh muscles used to pain so much. as such i would have to wait for a while before walking sometime in november during the adoration father said that jesus is healing someone with muscle pain of the thigh i immediately said oh that's me and forgot about it the next day by the evening i realized i did not have any pain at all thank you jesus praise you jesus I I feel so blessed every day I receive renewed grace and strength I know it because with every phone call or face to face conversation I have a f- with a family and friends we end talking about the goodness of God which was not there before in our conversations thank you Jesus for the gift of priests who bring to bring you to us and protect them for all the, from all the snares of this world 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Tanya from Colombo. I testify for the transformation over my husband. Years back, he was doing adoration and praying, but after 2017, he lost interest in his prayer life. I was praying with Divine UK during COVID, but he did not show interest. In 2020, the October, I attended one day retreat at Divine Colombo and prayed for him. When Divine Colombo started to pray for the souls in November, my husband started following the online retreat daily. He attended the residential retreat with me in February, and during the inner healing adoration, Father called by his called him by his name and said, Don't be afraid. Jesus wants you to give yourself fully to him and he will be for you. This was like thunder and lightning for me as I was praying for him for the last seven years. I see a big spiritual life transformation in him now. He gets up early to praise and worship the Lord, connecting with divine online daily. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My dear sisters and brothers, we see how the Lord touches many of our friends, how the Lord transforms their life, how the Lord strengthens their body, healing their sickness. Let us share our own testimonies, how the Lord touched our hearts for the greater glory of the Lord and helping the faith of so many of our brethren around us. Maybe your sharing will bring a soul close to Jesus, a soul close to praying and worshipping and adoring the Lord and proclaiming Jesus as their Savior. And that is a great, uh, great work we can do for the Lord. So send in your testimonies um, at uh, to our email at uh, testimonies.drcc at gmail.com My dear sisters and brothers, we are continuing with, we are starting our retreat. Today is the 1st of April. We are starting our retreat on Divine Mercy. This whole month, we will be reflecting upon Divine Mercy. And this first Sunday, the 7th, we will be celebrating Feast of Divine Mercy connected to it. We have a wonder service here at Divine Retreat Center Colombo. Those who are around, please come and join us and we'll have all the celebrations uh, of the Divine Mercy. We'll have the Divine Mercy procession, confessions, proclamation of the message of Divine Mercy. So um, uh, on the 7th, please come and join. At the Fun Day Retreat will be in English and Father Augustine also will be joining in that retreat. As we start reflecting upon the divine mercy of the Lord, you might have all looked at the picture of divine mercy as the Lord instructed Saint Maria Kowals Faustina Kowalska of divine mercy uh, of the um, of uh, the Holy Sacrament. Div uh, her full name is Maria Ko uh, Saint. Fausti, Maria Faustina Kowalska of uh, the Blessed Sacrament. That's her full name. And when the Lord instructed her to, to picture, to draw the picture of divine mercy, it's so beautiful. We all know the picture, the meaning of the picture. And Jesus, when instructing her to do the picture, Jesus instructed her about one in inscription that should be there on the picture. We all know it is Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In their language, Jesu, you farm Toby. And that was to be there on the picture. And this is what Jesus tells her when Jesus is once my confessor, Father Sopoko, it's in her notebook, in her diary, uh, paragraph number 327. Once my confessor asked me where the inscription should be placed because there was not enough space in the picture for everything. I answered, I will, 
I will pray and give you an answer next week. When I left the confessional and was passing before the blessed sacrament, I received an inner understanding about the inscription. Jesus reminded me of what he had told me the first time, namely that these three words must be clearly in evidence. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesu, you farm Toby. I understood that Jesus wanted the whole formula to be there, but he gave no direct orders to this effect as he did for these three words. So Faustina was asked where to place that inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. And Jesus himself told that this needs to be there on the picture. And Jesus further explains what it means. Jesus, I trust in you, what it means, Jesus tells her. We continue to read, I am offering people a vessel with which they are to keep coming for graces to the fountain of mercy. That vessel is this image with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. So if we, when we look at the picture, and when we see Jesus, I trust in you, when we pray, Jesus, I trust in you in the blessed sacrament, in the, uh, sacra in the chaplet of divine mercy, we are to keep in our heart, this is a vessel, the picture with the inscription. There is a prayer and a vessel the Lord has given to receive more and more graces from the mercy of the Lord, the fountain of the mercy of the Lord. This is not just proclaiming Jesus, I trust in you. It's a prayer. It's a prayer and that prayer is a complete prayer in a short form. So in a short form, Jesus, I trust in you, we all know. But the complete prayer we all pray every time when we pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and that is uh, in his, her notebook, uh, uh, paragraph number 84, we read, 84 and 187, we have this. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy, I trust in you. So when we read or when we pray, Jesus, I trust in you. It is not just we are saying, Jesus, I surrender myself, I trust. It's more than that. We are asking the Lord, O oh blood and water which gush forth for my soul from the heart of Jesus. As a fountain of mercy, I trust in you. So when I say Jesus, that Jesus has a lot of meaning for me. It's not just a name that I am calling, but I am appealing to the merit of the blood and water which gushed forth for me as a fountain of mercy from the heart of Jesus. I trust in you. In these coming days, we will, we will find or we will reflect more on this same uh, one inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. So just for today, let us keep in my, our mind when we look at the divine mercy picture and when we see that inscription, Jesus, I trust in you, it is not just those three words. It's more than that. I remember when we were children, we used to have the monthly devotions, special devotions, uh, devotion to Saint Joseph, devotion to Blessed Mary in, in respective months. And during that month, there is a special book uh, for that month in which there is a prayer for every day. Uh, it's like a novena, but not just for one day, it's 30 days. Uh, especially we used to do that for St. Joseph and Mother Mary. And when we have that, uh, those uh, prayers, uh, every day after the prayers, there is one ejaculation that we have to pray a spiritual little prayer, like a one a prayer from the litany. If it was Mother Mary's uh, month of May, when we have that devotion, special devotion, at the end we have one just a spiritual prayer, just an ejaculation that we can repeat many times. So what the priest does is, after praying that day's prayer, he will make us pray that ejaculation three times. O Mary Immaculate, help us to be away from sin. 
uh, for an example or mary immaculate help us to be holy so he will make us repeat that prayer three times and he will ask us to pray this every time possible so just like repeat repeat and repeat i remember some of the elderly ladies what they used to do after the mass till they get home they will be praying this in their heart o oh, immaculate mother help me to be holy and that was a prayer practice a spiritual practice in our lives ancient times praying ejaculations so that that will transform you will be reminded within you every time like like something resounding within mary immaculate help me to be holy that helps you to be holy really feeling that mother mary being with us in the same way today let us take in our heart this one prayer jesus i trust in you pray that as much as possible so that your trust in jesus will start working for you your faith will start producing fruit as jesus said more and more and more and more graces because we are in that vessel uh, approaching the fountain of mercy to receive more graces that is what we read jesus saying this i am offering people a vessel with which they are to keep coming keep coming for graces to the fountain of mercy so when we pray that when we pray the divine mercy chaplet we are we are approaching the fountain of mercy to receive more and more and more graces my dear brother my dear sister so today let us reflect upon what we pray jesus i trust in you it is not just those three words it's much more than that o oh, blood and water which gush forth from the heart of jesus as a fountain of mercy i trust in you that is what we pray so when we call the name jesus it's a whole world of meaning making me worthy bringing more and more graces to me and when you feel get time you may read and reflect a little more about praying this jesus i trust in you and that is uh, in the notebook uh, in the diary paragraph number 1480 and 1480 uh, and we read this is the meaning of the prayer when you pray jesus i trust in you you are this is the meaning of the prayer and also we continue to we will uh, reflect on uh, reflect on a little more in co- in the coming days and this is jesus hide me in your mercy shield me against everything that might terrify my soul do not let my trust in your mercy be disappointed shield me with the omnipotence of your mercy and judge me leniently as well this is the whole gist of our prayer what we are asking what we are asking the lord when we pray jesus i trust in you it's 1480 Jesus hide me in your mercy and shield me against everything that might terrify my soul do not let my trust in your mercy be disappointed shield me with the omnipotence of your mercy and judge me leniently as well so when we call upon the name of Jesus praying the divine mercy chaplet Jesus i trust in you we are approaching the blood and water which gushed forth for us as a fountain of mercy so it is not just a name that we are calling we are approaching that heart of jesus when we pray jesus i trust in you let us kneel down in the presence of our lord in the divine in the divine mercy image with the inscription jesus i trust in you jesus himself told us through saint faustina 
I am offering you a vessel to approach the fountain of my mercy to receive more graces. Lord, as this day progresses, let there not be a moment that I am away from your mercy. Let there not be a moment that I am unaware of your mercy. The last drop of blood and water which gushed forth for me to make me clean, to make me worthy, to strengthen me, to protect me. Let this day give me the grace, O oh Lord. I pray in this day, give me the grace to be aware of your merciful gaze upon me to approach that fountain of mercy. Let us do the Divine Mercy Chaplet, the presence of our Lord who is with us in this blessed sacrament. The opening prayer, you expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, O unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth for from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy, fountain for us, we I, trust, I trust in you. you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain for us, I we trust, trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain for us, we I trust, trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners and now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. And I in believe Jesus in Jesus Christ, Christ only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of, born the, of the Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered in the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he, he rose again, again from, from the dead. dead. He, he ascended, ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the, the Father. Father. He will come again to judge the living and the, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. This whole chaplet of the divine mercy, we shall pray for our family. As we prayed, let his love protect our family members in his heart. Let the blood and water gushed forth from the heart of Jesus. Cleanse them, purify them, fill them with his love and let them all share his love for each other. For his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity 
of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer, offer you the body, body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer, offer you the body and, and blood, blood soul, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer, we offer you the body and blood, blood soul, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy, Holy Mighty One, Holy, Holy Mortal One, one have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Holy God, Holy, Holy Mighty One, one Holy Mortal One, one have mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, one Holy Mortal One, one have mercy on us and on the whole world. Concluding prayer. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, so that in your difficult, in difficult moments we may not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Dear brother, my dear sister, let us offer our prayer intentions at the foot of the Lord. Everything that you are praying for now. There are moments in our heart, even without our knowledge, that our prayers being raised up unto the Lord. Our silences have become our prayers. Our sighs within our heart. And might have become our prayers. Let's lift up all into the hands of, hands of our merciful Lord, this blessed sacrament. We are no more. We are not worthy. 
but his mercy makes us worthy to stand the lord makes us worthy his merit the merit of his body and blood that is what makes us stand before the lord now let us pray o oh lord as we offer all our prayers for our family for ourselves and for all the intentions that is there in my heart i pray let your mercy cover me protect me and keep me safe in your hands have mercy on me is nothing our merciful lord cannot change remember bartimaeus the blind beggar called upon jesus son of david have mercy have mercy on me let that be the prayer in our heart as well jesus of oh blood and water which gush forth for me from the heart of jesus is a fountain of mercy So when we look at the Lord let us see the Lord is our oh his heart open for us and those rays of life giving blood and water showered upon us at this moment strengthening us over all our sickness and weaknesses bringing hope over all our despair and strengthening our spiritual journey so we pray have mercy on me oh god have mercy on me oh god jesus mercy on me lord according to your unfailing love thank you lord praise you lord according a moment in silence the presence of the lord with this prayer in our heart lord let there not be a moment that i am unaware of your merciful gaze upon me We pray the fourth day of divine mercy novena today we bring the pagans and those who do not yet know Jesus Jesus was thinking also of them during his bitter passion 
and their future zeal comforted Jesus heart we immerse them in the ocean of the mercy of the lord most compassionate jesus you are the light of the whole world receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of pagans who as yet do not know you let the rays of your grace enlighten them that they too together with us may extol your wonderful mercy and do not let them escape from the abode which is your most compassionate heart eternal father turn your merciful gaze upon the souls of pagans and of those who as yet do not know you but who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of jesus draw them to the light of the gospel these souls do not know what great happiness it is to love you grant that they too may extol the generosity of your mercy for endless ages amen let us now receive the blessing of our lord down in adoration falling given them bread from heaven having in itself all to life lord jesus christ you gave us the eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of the sacrament of your most holy body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever
Mother of mercy, intercede and pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let's now prepare to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may always be on your lips. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, as we continue to celebrate the Easter, of the Lord, the resurrection of our Lord. Let's pray. Let it change our lives, for we are uh, Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. So let the Lord, His joy, and it, the hope that the Lord has brought, the life that He has won over death, let it thrive within us this day, we pray. Let nothing stop that life, abundant life within us. In a special way, pray for all those who are seeking a job, unemployed, the underemployed. We pray for them today. Please pray with us for all those who are preparing for the couple's retreat from the 11th to the 14th of April here at Divine Retreat Center Colombo. All the preparations that they are making, the prayers for their family, the intentions that is there in their heart, especially prayers for the childless couples, special service for them during the retreat. Lord, we pray for your mercy. We also remember and pray for the Sinhala retreat following the couples retreat. Brethren, let's now offer all our personal intentions and let's prepare to celebrate this Eucharist, recalling to mind our sins, our failures and shortcomings, everything that makes us unworthy. Let's ask the Lord to cover us with a mantle of holiness, cleanse us, purify us and make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. So with a contrite heart we pray together, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, Lord, have mercy on us all. 
glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray o god who give constant increase to your church by new offering new offspring grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives for the sacrament they have received in faith through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen this jesus god raised up and of that we are all witnesses a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 2 verses 14 and 22 to 23 on the day of pentecost peter standing with the 11 lifted up his voice and addressed them men of judea and all who dwell in jerusalem let this be known to you and give ear to my words men of israel hear these words jesus of nazareth a man attested to you by god with mighty works and wonders and signs that god did through him in your midst as you yourselves know this jesus delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of god you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men god raised him up losing the pangs of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it for david says concerning him i saw the lord always before me for he is at my right hand that i may not be shaken therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced my flesh also will dwell in hope for you will not abandon my soul to hades or let your holy one see corruption you have made known to me the paths of life and you will make me full of gladness with your presence brothers i may say to you with confidence about the patriarch david that he both died and was buried and his tomb is with us to this day being therefore a prophet and knowing that god had sworn with an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants on his throne he foresaw and spoke about the resurrection of the christ that he was not abandoned to hades nor did his flesh see corruption this jesus god raised up and of that we are all witnesses being therefore exalted at the right hand of god and having received from the father the promise of the holy spirit he has poured out this that you yourselves are seeing and hearing the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response is preserve me o god for in you i take refuge preserve me o god for in you i take refuge preserve me o god for in you i take refuge i say to the lord you are my lord o lord it is you who are my portion and cup you yourself who secure my lot response preserve me o god for in you i take refuge i will bless the lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart i keep the lord before me always with him at my right hand 
I shall not be moved. Response. Preserve me, God. In you I take refuge. And so, my heart rejoices. My soul is glad. Even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Response. Preserve me, O God. In you I take refuge. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, bliss forever. Response. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Acclamation. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the women departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. When they had assembled with the elders, and taken counsel, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember a little story a priest told us when he was teaching us about faith. And the story is this, a little village. And this village was contaminated with a place where they started to make alcohol, like a distillery came into this, that village. And the people who were not used to alcohol, they started to get used to and started troubles being created or the community started to disintegrate on account of excess use of it. And the parish priest now called a meeting in the parish and they decided without any protest outside, they will just pray in the church. They will come together and they pray that this will stop. They will stop production of alcohol and liquor in their village. And they started praying. On the third day, something happened and they had to stop the production forever. Now they were all very happy. The Lord rewarded their prayer. But that isn't finished there. Now the owners of the company they file a suit against those who prayed in the church for three days. And the suit was this. Because of their prayer, I had to stop my production, my company. So the reason why I had to stop my company was their prayer. No other reason. 
now immediately everyone started to change their plate he said it is not because of our prayer and the priest was concluding the story and his point was this someone who believed those set of people who believed at the end when something came against them became unbelievers and somebody who was not believing and who was immoral or rather was going against the spirit of the society bringing disintegration they became believers not in a very positive way but in a negative way the effect of faith so all those who believed and prayed for this intention they just denied it's not because of our prayer but the others those who never would believed in the power of prayer they are saying it's because of their faith and prayer my dear sisters and brothers sometimes in our life also we go through that kind of a dilemma can faith bring fruits to our life and if we see our prayers being answered sometimes we end up going to resorting to those theories of coincidence luck fortune and all that is our faith so much true why we are thinking about faith this day because after the resurrection of the lord every time jesus met his disciples there is a renewal of faith taking place in them the moment they came to know that jesus is risen the moment that they came to know jesus is risen their attitude towards changes now you see here itself when those ladies who are returning from the tomb jesus came and appeared to them they worshiped him they worshiped him their love their devotion everything now turns into the next level worship faith increasing and that is why today or these days when we think of ourselves resurrection one of the effects of resurrection that took place among the disciples is renewal of faith in the lord in the risen lord he is true to his words he is faithful to his words we can trust in him we can trust in him my dear brother my dear sister when we are celebrating easter this should enlighten and kindle our faith our lord as he promised our lord as the fulfillment of the prophecies has risen from the dead and that should enlighten and kindle and help our faith on the other side there is something that happening that is happening that those people who did not want even though they knew that Jesus is risen because he has already told they were putting guards around that place so that it doesn't take place the guards might have witnessed for it they have come to the chief priests and told them this is what happened but they are making a story now in the night when we were asleep the disciples came took his body and now they are saying he is risen there is a lie against all the aspects of our faith around us we cannot deny it whatever we believe about jesus whatever we believe in the power of jesus there is something against it spread around us and as a result what happens is we are left with a choice whether to take the side of the lie or take the side of the truth worshiping jesus it's up to us to choose if our faith is strong enough in the lord we will choose and side by faith in the first little story that i told you the people who believed and prayed now at the end they are chosen they they are left with a choice should i stay with my faith with which i prayed to stop that uh, stop that company or should i now withdraw from it it's my choice if my faith is not strong enough and their faith became so strong after seeing the lord so if i don't get to see the lord in my life in the sacrament of uh, eucharist 
in my prayers if i don't have that personal connection with the lord i will always switch between faith and the lie i will be split between the choice i will struggle to make the choice but if i have that personal intimate relationship with the lord when my acquaintances turns out to be worshiping the lord let when it grows to worship the lord then i won't be uh, i won't be put in pressure i won't be having any pressure of choosing what to choose i'll always side with the choice with the faith so let this resurrection the celebration of the resurrection of the lord help us to enkindle our faith renew our faith in the gospel according to saint john chapter 2 verses 10 and 11 at the end of the cana incident when jesus turned water into wine the word of god clearly says his disciples believed in him his disciples believed in him and after the resurrection that faith has increased that faith has found a new level where jesus i can trust in him i can trust in him he told that he will give himself he gave he said that he will rise over death he rose again now he is with us my dear brother my dear sister as we continue to celebrate easter joy we continue to rejoice in the uh, resurrection of our lord let our hearts find that renewal of faith happening within us happening within us a new person a new level of faith created in us every moment we can say within us i can trust in jesus he is with me he rose again he and he has brought me to eternal life let us pray god our heavenly father as we continue to rejoice in the resurrection of our lord we pray let our faith be renewed just like the faith of those women who saw you and their faith brought them to the level of worshiping you acquaintance and the love for you turned out to be a worship Lord, we pray our love for you. Let it turn out to be worship f- from us. And Lord, we pray, let that renew our faith and let us never hesitate to take your side, choose you above all the lies that are being created around us and against my faith we make our prayer through Christ our risen lord amen, amen. father i place them to you I cannot do Father I place into your hands the times that I've been true Father I place into your hands the way that I should go for I know I always can trust you Father I place into your hands my friend trouble me father i place into your hands the person i would be for i know i always can trust you for i know i always can trust you pray brethren that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father 
the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace, goodness and grace of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, the renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your with blessed Joseph our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray 
advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Anjita our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we lovingly pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So let us offer each other a loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for priests. O oh Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips purple with your precious blood. Keep your and unearthly their hearts sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, just continue to pray for the upcoming retreats at Divine Retreat Center. The next, uh, this weekend, 5th, 6th and 7th, we have one day retreats. 5th being First Friday, we have special devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And uh, the retreat will be in Sinhala. And the 6th on the first Saturday, we have special devotion to the Immaculate Heart of our M Blessed Mother. And the retreat will be in Tamil. And on the 7th, we have the Feast of Divine Mercy. And uh, that feast is, um, the retreat will be in English. And it's a first Sunday devotion to the uh, Holy Trinity as well. And we will have all the solemnities a solemn devotions connected to the feast, proclamation of the message of mercy, confessions, procession with the image of mercy, and Father Augustine Maluran will be with us on these three days, 5th, 6th, and 7th, uh, for the one-day retreats. The re upcoming residential retreat, April 11 to 14, couples retreat in English. Uh, if there is anyone who cannot come accompany your spouse because of uh, certain unavoidable reasons, Please come by yourself and pray for your family uh, and for your marriage. And there will be special prayer service for the childless couples. So encourage uh, the childless couples you might know to come and attend the retreat. The Sinhala residential retreat is from the 18th to 11th of April. And uh, Father Michael is already in uh, Church of Divine Mercy in Singapore. And he will be there for the Divine Mercy Novena uh, um, in the Church of Divine Mercy, Singapore. Please continue to pray for us and God bless you. God bless you, Father. I do not know what lies ahead The way I cannot see Yet one who stands will be my guide He'll show the way to me I know who holds the future And I know He holds my hand With God things don't just happen Everything by problems love
Pray to Saint Michael, Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray and do thou. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl to the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 